this girl on YouTube, she is called The Tardive, and she's been doing a tongue stretching journey for quite a few years now. She has just got up to 10 millimeters, which is so insane for a tongue because the tongue starts at 14 gauge, which is equivalent to 1.6 or 1.63 millimeters. So that is huge. That's like for a tongue. I know people stretch their ears way, way further than that. A tongue is a whole nother story when it comes to stretching because it is like a pretty vital like organ. I am extremely excited because this is like very, very impressive. I'm hoping because it has been such a long time since I've last stretched my tongue piercing that this stretch will be nice and easy. Fingers crossed, I'm not counting on it, but hopefully it'll be relatively smooth and simple. We'll just have to wait and see. She did her nine millimeter stretch in May of 2017. So this is like nearly three years later. So like she's left it quite some time, which is probably a very good thing in terms of the tongue. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. We all know that one, don't we? So currently my tongue piercing is nine millimeters in thickness and I intend to go to 10 millimeters. I have my concave taper. I then also have the jewelry which I intend to put in. So this jewelry is actually pretty much very similar to the jewelry. What a queen in sterilized packets. We already love it. It is a Delrin internally threaded barbell. It's a tongue barbell, but what I did was I specifically asked for it to have a flat bottom and more of a rugby ball shaped top. So really it's more like a labrette. I like wearing a flat bit on the bottom because then it doesn't irritate the underneath of my mouth, underneath my tongue. And I like the more rounded top as well because then it doesn't dig into my tongue. So that's what I've got. This is 10 millimeter in thickness. I can't imagine what she's had to go through with like the jewelry, just because like it's probably not a super, super common like body modification so getting something to fit your mouth would be very difficult and something that you find comfortable that would be a very annoying piece of jewelry I can imagine if it does not fit comfortably now my tongue piercing doesn't need a 16 millimeter length barbell but I do find after a fresh stretch it does tend to swell somewhat nowhere near as much as it usually swells when you freshly have a tongue piercing but definitely swells a little so I order a slightly longer barbell than I need to compensate for that swelling and then once it's all healed and settled from from the stretch months down the line I'll most likely order another piece of jewelry which is a little bit shorter and will fit just basically a little bit better so that's what I've got I do also have some lubrication which is a water soluble lubrication effectively it's the same as a KY jelly and I'll be using that to help hopefully glide the taper through a little mm. bit more easily and smoothly so oh, without gosh. further ado let's actually get started I'm just going to take out the jewelry that I'm wearing it currently so crazy it's so big so that is the top it's got a very long screw bit that screws into this part here oh, i might be talking big. a little bit weirdly because when i'm not wearing the jewelry in my tongue piercing it feels a bit strange and so feeling my tongue actually touch like the roof of my mouth is a bit strange for anyone who has a tongue piercing like it feels weird when that comes out, let alone having something like taking up that much space in your mouth. It would just become like normal and then it would feel so like blank and bare. You hardly notice a Medusa, but like when you take it out, it's like, what's wrong? Like something feels weird, but it's just like our original form is to have none of this. So like really going back to that, it's like, it feels weird, but it's like, whoa, it's like so like there's nothing. It's like soft and like... <laughs> It's weird. I find that I might sound a little bit lispy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply. Oh, look at that tape. I she's a big boy. Okay, we'll just get it all around. Oh, brilliant. I'm going to leave the top bit for now so I have something to hold on to. And I'm just going to put the rest around my tongue. If you've watched previous videos, you'll probably realise that I prefer stretching from the bottom to the top. Personally, I just find it a little bit more easy than doing top to bottom. So I'm just going to put this excess lubrication on oh, my tongue piercing. Brutal. Wild. Oh, it's wild. Okay, fingers crossed this goes smoothly. Yeah, that is big. <laughs> 
she tough? That's where it's starting to... She's doing well. So good. She's got such a um, steady, just, it's very steady the way she's doing it all. My God, she like didn't even flinch nothing. That's crazy. So crazy. That would suck. Like it would suck. <laughs> Good work. There we go. That's so much better. <laughs> okay. Finally, I got there. My tongue doesn't feel sensitive at all. Normally after a stretch, it does. I thought I would show you guys that one just because like I hadn't watched that one yet, but I'd seen her previous like stretches before and I just thought it was a super cool like journey that she's on and like love following it. I thought it was super cool to like show you guys that obviously it isn't just ears that you can stretch. There are so many different body parts you can stretch. Like basically most piercings you can. That was just one that like you don't see too often. And I guess like you don't see too often because it's in someone's mouth. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that as something a little bit different and not a video where people are just failing all the time. Like I genuinely can see that like she knows what she's doing and it's not really that often that you're going to find a professional that's going to do that for you anyway. So you're going to have to do it yourself. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new here, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys back very soon.